Well, there are only two ways to get to Beaver Island in Charlevoix County. You can fly or you can take the ferry, but one of those options people rely on isn't available right now. Our Allie Baxter spoke to the Beaver Island Boat Company about the delay of their season. She joins us live in the studio. Allie. Mark, the boat company does not own the Emerald Isle Ferry. Rather, it operates it for the Island Transportation Authority. There's a second boat the company uses, but it's in dry dock for repairs. As the president explains, there were multiple circumstances outside the company's control. It really is day by day. Nearly a week after staff at the Beaver Island Boat Company were hoping to start running the ferry, the Emerald Isle still sits docked in the Charlevoix Marina. A lot of people were counting us on us to start the 10th, and so it was never easy not to start on the 10th. Um, and so we know that can be frustrating for some people. Some people like the ones who live on Beaver Island. A lot of people that wait on the island for to schedule doctor's appointments, medical appointments, things like that until we're running. Um, some of them because they, they just rather would take the boat. Um, some of them it's a cost issue. Which is why Tim McQueer, the president of the boat company, says they're working around the clock to get the ferry going again. All the businesses on the island, they bulk up in the winter time, but they they buy enough stuff to make it through till our start um, for things like lumber and other supplies that you see around. So those businesses are starting to run out of those supplies. The Emerald Isle had engines and transmissions rebuilt, and Tim says they had planned for it. What they didn't plan for was delays for parts the ferry needed. 20 plus years, we, we've rarely, rarely had any delays. Um, it just, there was a lot of stuff that was outside our control or our vendor's control. You can just see some of the stuff that's starting to pile up and we're trying to store it for, uh, you know, that way it stays out of the weather. Tim explains they're holding on to items for customers who already had reservations to bring stuff over on the ferry. Most of the stores and the restaurants have um, held off on some of their perishable stuff, but we do have like, we have some ice cream here, but that stays pretty good in a freezer. Tim says the delay is a big impact because the ferry is so important to the community, but safety is even more important. There's never a, a long enough period to get all that work completed. It's always going to be tight. Tim tells me they are doing test runs this evening. What they're looking for is gears working correctly and engines staying at the right temperature. I did reach out to several businesses and the Chamber of Commerce on Beaver Island. None of them responded to our request for comment.